Hi, this video is going to cover the name manager in Excel. So the name manager is pretty nice. It can do a bunch of different things. So let me show you um, a couple examples of how to use the name manager. So let's do a simple example here. So maybe I want to name this cost um, total. So instead of, in this case, it's cell F12, I can give it a name in this left upper left hand box. So I'm going to call it cost tote, like that, and hit enter. So now this cell is cost tote. So then I can go over here and I can put in a formula and I can say cost tote. And you can see it, it highlights it because it knows it recognizes that. And if I equal cost tote and hit enter, it equals 20. So, for example, if I change this, same way, just like it's referencing the cell F12. So that's what's one thing that's really nice. And I can do different calculations with it, like I can multiply it by two, do different things. So that's great. So let's do a deliciousness tote now. So we'll just do a del tote. So I can do things like in this, I can do cost tote minus del tote. The really nice thing about this is that even in different sheets, I can still reference my cost tote and my delta tote, but without typing in sheet one cost tote or sheet two cost tote. So that's one really nice thing if you have a really large complex sheet and you have one number that you need to reference, that's a really good thing. The other nice thing about name manager and, and naming things is that they automatically do absolute reference. So for example, you can see this cell is cost total or cost tote minus deliciousness total or delta tote. If I go ahead and drag that down, it doesn't change. So it's just, so these names are automatically absolute reference, which is really nice because then you don't have to worry about um, changing it to absolute reference when you're using it. Let's go ahead and delete those two just to clean it up a little bit. Now the other thing we can do with Name Manager is and naming things is we can name whole tables. So this was a table we referenced before. If we go up to um, formulas and define name and we're going to make this our fruit table and we're going to hit OK and we can see it refers to this these values we're going to hit OK and now we're going to instead of the A2 to C5 name that we have here we're going to just type in fruit table and it's going to give us the same functionality but now it's a little bit easier to see. So let's say we had a grocery list that we could select fruit or vegetables or other things. We would know right away that our formulas are picking from the fruit table instead of picking from some something like A2 to C5. Um, so it's much easier once you have some complex things to use names in Name Manager. And now you get the gist of how to use it. The other thing that we can do is we can go to Name Manager and we can edit or delete or or we can just create new ones from here. And this is nice so that way you can clean it up or um, see which names you've already displayed there. Great. That's the Name Manager in a nutshell. Thanks for watching.